we are back. Um, where were we? Yes, the journey towards uh, our therapeutic strategy for COVID-19, um, the summarized version. Um, for the last few years, we've been leveraging um, a few unique experiences that we've had um, as a lab and as individuals in the lab to, to use our, our collective experiences in a diverse range of, of disciplines from telecoms to zoology to ornithology to microbiology, biochemistry, even a bit of nanotech, nanotechnology, to apply that experience set to some problems that we are facing, particularly in South Africa. And that journey brought up some surprising, um, perhaps in retrospect, uh, not so surprising, but at the time, very surprising uh, synergies, um, complementarities, um, synchronicities for those esoteric listeners um, of our diverse experience set that allowed us to put together solution sets for real world problems, which were pretty unique. By and large, they, they were built off the back of decades worth of research by other people. Uh, but they came together in a rather unique way with our team. And you know, in my previous video, I mentioned that uh, bioterrorism threats were, were were of interest to me even as a young student. Um, and I think one of the reasons it was of interest is because it seemed like such an insurmountable challenge um, that I had no control over. Some foreign adversary or domestic adversary released some contagion, um, some bioterrorism threat, chemical or biological. Um, not that chemical warfare is necessarily a biological threat, but they are related. And more importantly, they can potentially be dealt with with similar Mm, interventions, remedies. Um, and that sort of insurmountable, there's an army trying to bring in some destructive weapon of mass destruction. How do I respond? Do I have any tools? Can I buy a gas mask? Do I build a bunker? And having been a um, trained as a microbiologist, biochemist, micro, uh, molecular biologist uh, at UCT, I drew naturally on those skills and those understandings. And when I listened to lectures, it was always with the context of how do I build a solution set that deals with some of these fears, maybe, that I've had. Um, uh, probably the biggest fear being if it's something outside of my control, that terrifies me, right? At least having a minimal understanding of the problem and a very superficial way of dealing with the problem that may or may not arise gives me peace of mind that I've done my bit to make sure that when and if I'm ever in that situation, I can respond to protect myself and my family and those around me. So the particularly unique elements that, that I personally brought to the equation, uh, and it's not, understand it's not just me, but this is particular to my experience it, was that I was a quail farmer. Um, Small, small bird called the quail, Coturnix Coturnix japonica. And I had been so since uh, a student at high school. 
uh, producing for the meat market um, as early as 1985 or so. 